Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to take a look at the score manager in Unreal Editor for Fortnite. This can be kind of a confusing device due to some of the parameters it has, some of the wording on the parameters. So hopefully I can help you from getting confused or as confused as I was. It took me a little while to figure it all out and I still don't have it 100% figured out, but I have it figured out enough to be able to use it in my project. So, so I'm just gonna delete the second spawner here. This is just a basic blank level. And I'm going to turn this spawner more this way. Okay, so to get started, we're going to go into the All folder and make sure we're on the top level. And then we're just going to search for Score Manager. And there it is right there. And we're just going to drag it onto the scene. And then I'm going to search for a trigger here, a trigger box there. And then lastly, at the very end, we're going to, I'm going to get an item spawner and I'll show you some quirkiness that goes on when we try to use this in conjunction with the score manager. But I think it makes sense to use the score manager in this way because instead of just giving the player a reward number as a reward, we can actually give them an item as a reward as well. So, but there's gonna be a little bit of an issue and I'll show you that when we get to that point. Here we are, we've got our score manager, we've got a trigger, and we've got an item spawner. So with the score manager selected, let's go through some of the settings and some of the confusion that you can get with it. Score value is confusing. Basically, that's the initial starting value that's displayed. So if the player's starting with nothing, they haven't done anything, this would be a big fat zero. And whatever number you put in there is what's going to be displayed. So if you put 500, it's going to look like they got 500 points. Well, they haven't done anything. They don't get any points. So, But I guess if they're coming from another level, perhaps this is a variable that can be adjusted. The score award type is as they get collectibles or crackers or coins or whatever. Are we going to add those points or are we going to take those points away? And so it's going to be add. And then the activating team could be any. We'll come back to this later as far as the max triggers. Right now, we'll just leave that off. Increment score on awarding. Yes, that's a big yes, and that's why it's on by default. Now, here is the big star of the show, and this is easy to miss. Score change when activated is basically how much, how many points do they get for every collectible that they find? Like how much for every time they step on the trigger. In this case, we're going to give them 10 points every time they step on the trigger, well, we're going to go up to 100 points. So this is going to be 10. So this is how much we're going to increment the score by each time that they get a collectible or do what they're supposed to do. Now here on minimum score, I don't know why it's at a low value there, but we can put that on zero. And here, this is going to be 100. So what's going to happen is they're going to walk, the player's going to walk across this trigger each time they do, it's going to be worth 10 points for a maximum of up to 100 points. And so let's see. We've got always visible in game. Yes, we want this visible in game. And we can play audio. We don't need to display this on the HUD. And the last thing we need to do is just activate it, tie this trigger to the score manager. So we're going to click here to add an element to the array. And we're going to search for a trigger and then on trigger. And believe it or not, that's all we have to do. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna go across this 10 times and this should go from zero to 100. Now I'm gonna go ahead and save that and launch the session. And then it's gonna take a few minutes for it to load up. And once it does, I'll come back and then we'll take a look at the item spawner and something that's kind of quirky with that. So I'll be back as soon as this is loaded up. Okay, finally loaded up. Now, if I hit escape, we're in the game. And what's going to happen is I'm going to walk across this trigger and this should go up by 10 points every time I do. So 10 points, 20 points, 30 points, 40 points, 50, 60. And notice this is forward facing no matter where the player goes. This stays 70, 80, 90, 
than 100. And that's the max score, so I can't, it doesn't matter if I go over it again, I'm done. So, but wouldn't it be nice that once I got to 100 points that I was given an item or something like that? So that's what I'd like to take a look at doing right now. So let me hit escape and I'll minimize this. And let's take a look at how we could do that. Now, the one way we can communicate with this item spawner is if we come and we select on it, you can see that we have the option here to spawn an item. And so we can tie this to our score manager. So if I click here and I select the score manager, you'll see that there's two modifiers that are available. One is on max triggers and one is on score output. It doesn't say on max score, it says on score output. So as soon as there's a score outputted, then it would reward an item. So the very first time they went through on 10 points, they would get an item. So I was looking to set this on max triggers instead, which would be about the same as them crossing the trigger 10 times. But when I set a max trigger, you'll see, so I'm gonna set this to max trigger, and then it's gonna ask for what item are we gonna spawn out. So we can just select something off this list here. And let's just look for something here. Let's just make it be an apple. And there's a whole bunch of other settings on here. We're gonna go ahead and turn off spawn item on timers because we don't need those. And that's all we're gonna do. There's only gonna be a quantity of one. And then on max triggers, the item should generate. So that's all we need to do there so we can save that. And then if we jump back into the score manager now, if we come up here, we can set a limit on the number of triggers. So, well, that would be 10, right? Because every time they go, it's 10, 10 times, right? 10 times 10 is 100. So they go across that trigger 10 times, that's the same as 100 points. But what's gonna happen, you'll see, is that when we set the max trigger, we can't, it won't show 100 points here. It'll just go up to 90. And then when they cross again, the item will, when they cross for the 10th time, the item will generate, will spawn, but the, the score won't go over, won't show 100. So that's just kind of a little quirk, but they did technically get 100 points. So if that's an issue for you, you can play around with things, and I don't know how you could set it up, but that's kind of an issue, and I'm not sure what the workaround is for that. So, but you could uh, you could try maybe making it come out on the 11th time they get that so that the score goes up to 100 but it ends up when you set a max trigger it ends up affecting how far this value will go so anyway let's go ahead and save that and in the game and I'm sure I'm going to have to push the change on this so I'll be back as soon as I um, push the change so I'll be back as soon as this finishes updating Okay, the session finally updated. Now we're going to just jump into here and start the game. And you'll see what I mean now. So here we go. There's 10. Second time. Third time. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seven. Eight. Nine, and on the next times my tenth time across, the apple should appear. But you'll notice the score will be stuck at 90. See, and there's the apple. But then our score is kind of at 90. But we did get 100 points. We should have 100 points. But something happens when we set the max triggers, and it doesn't show the last 10 points for some reason. So it's kind of a trade-off between how you want to try to do it. What's more important, that item or the, yeah, that showing 100 points. So to me, the apple's more important. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you found this helpful and I hope this helps you get started with the score manager. So thanks for watching and if you can, I really do appreciate it if you're able to subscribe.